Hello guys welcome back in Goku Manhua let's continue. Lin Mohan was torn. She had always looked out for her little brother, but now, with the task of integrating the origin rune ahead, she couldn't accompany him any longer. Despite her sadness, Lin's brother tried to understand. He figured that maybe she had her own path, her own way of growing stronger. Meanwhile, a strange group approached them, led by a brash blonde. Instead of confrontation, the blonde simply asked Lin to support his team by letting them pass through. He thanked Lin for his kindness as he and his group entered the dungeon without resistance, their eyes filled with a mix of admiration and confusion. The group had assumed Lin was some kind of powerful leader, a boss even, and they couldn't believe he had allowed them entry so easily, especially without claiming the origin rune for himself. Some whispered that Lin was so powerful, he didn't need the rune. They speculated he must have slain demons and dragons as effortlessly as if they were mere pests. His skillful and graceful movements left them wondering just how many creatures had fallen by his hand, unnoticed by the world. The scene shifted to a distant, shadowy throne room. The succubus queen lounged upon her dark throne, her eyes gleaming with malice. At her feet, her loyal servant Alice knelt, head bowed in shame. Forgive me, my queen, Alice murmured. I failed. But the queen's response was unexpected, soft, understanding. She knew Alice's failure wasn't entirely her own. Lin's strength had caught them off guard, even surpassing the queen's expectations. Even I underestimated him, the queen admitted with a low chuckle. Then, the queen's expression sharpened. Did you complete your task? she asked. Alice hesitated for a moment, then nodded with a nervous smile. Yes, my queen. The scent has been placed on Lin's body. Satisfied, the queen swirled her finger in the air, summoning another succubus to her side, Imena, a warrior scarred from countless battles. Mina appeared before the throne, eyeing the queen warily, unsure of why she had been called. The queen's smile widened, dark plans already forming behind her calculating gaze. Mina stood tall as the queen issued her a new mission, she was to enter the eternal battlefield and locate a hidden portal to the upper realm. When Mina respectfully inquired for further instructions, the queen's eyes gleamed with malice as she ordered Mina to track down Alice's scent and bring Lin to the succubus palace without delay. Reluctantly, Mina agreed, though Alice, observing from a distance, was shocked. Why send Lady Mina after Lin, she thought, knowing Mina's strength was far too much for this task. But before Alice could voice her thoughts, the queen's demeanor shifted, dark and ominous. Are you questioning my authority? the queen hissed. Alice's heart froze, realizing she had overstepped. She immediately dropped to her knees, her head touching the floor, apologizing profusely for her insolence. Seeing Alice's genuine fear, the queen decided to spare her, if for now. Never question the queen's decisions, she warned before summoning a portal. Leave before I change my mind, she added coldly. Alice hurried through the portal without hesitation. Days later, Lin wandered through the eternal battlefield, feeling the weight of his recent victories. His power had grown significantly from the trials, but he knew one final destination remained, the Dragon Palace, though its location was still unknown. His skeletal army, growing in strength with each passing battle, now slaughtered demons effortlessly, allowing Lin to level up without lifting a finger. Despite his gains, his divinity reaching level 33, his attributes swelling, and his skeletal warriors becoming even more formidable, he felt an uneasy tension. As he ventured closer to the core of the battlefield, his skeletal army began to struggle against the increasingly powerful monsters. Suddenly, a shadow loomed overhead. Lin looked up, startled to see a massive bird, its wings darkening the sky. It swooped down, talons outstretched, ready to strike. Lin barely had time to react, saved only by his skeletal armor, which absorbed the brunt of the attack. The bird circled again, and Lin realized it was a level 56 battlefield giant eagle, a beast with immense strength and terrifying speed. The eagle screeched, its piercing cry echoing across the battlefield, signaling a relentless assault. Lin tightened his grip on his weapon, preparing for the fight of his life. Lin quickly realized that the monsters in the core area were far more dangerous than expected. Even a basic creature was now capable of dealing heavy damage. Before he could fully comprehend the situation, the battlefield giant eagle, undeterred, soared high into the sky, preparing for a devastating dive attack. With his skeletal armor active, Lin braced himself for the onslaught. But Lin wasn't one to wait passively. 
As the eagle gained altitude to increase its impact, Lin cast his slow curse, summoning crimson chains to bind the bird mid-flight. Seizing the moment, he unleashed his favorite combination, Soul Blaze with the slow curse. The eagle screeched in agony, its energy drained rapidly as flames consumed its spirit, leaving it disoriented and weakened. As the bird crashed to the ground, Lin's skeletal warriors swarmed it, their rage strikes delivering devastating blows. In a matter of moments, a notification appeared, Lin had successfully slain the level 56 giant eagle. The reward was massive, an extraordinary amount of experience and a rare starlight fragment, an ancient material said to enhance equipment when given to skilled alchemists or blacksmiths. Lin was shocked, this was the first time he had acquired such a valuable item in the eternal battlefield. However, Lin's excitement was short-lived. He noticed that the corpse of the giant eagle dissolved into starlight, its body transforming into ethereal strands of light. To his dismay, this meant he couldn't use one of his most relied-upon abilities, Corpse Explosion, which had always helped him clear out mobs quickly. Monsters in the core area seemed to leave behind starlight, not physical remains. Before Lin could fully process this, the ground beneath him began to shake violently. Trees toppled around him as the tremors intensified. Emerging from the earth were several massive beasts, armored like living fortresses. These were battlefield iron armored beasts, each one level 56, with immense strength, agility, and constitution. Their sheer presence made the air feel heavier. Lin steeled himself, knowing that this next battle would push him to his limits. The iron armored beasts had only one attack, a powerful slam. Charging toward Lin's skeletal warriors, they struck with such force that many skeletons were shattered in seconds. Lin was surprised by their speed, despite their bulky, hyena-like frames, they moved swiftly across the battlefield. But just as he started to plan his next move, he felt a presence far more terrifying approaching. Turning around, Lin's eyes widened as he saw a colossal serpent, its body glowing with radiant starlight energy. The serpent wasted no time, lunging toward Lin with lethal intent. The danger was immediate, Lin knew that if he didn't act quickly, his entire skeletal army would be decimated. Thinking fast, Lin summoned his most powerful reinforcement, the gold-grade undead general. As soon as the general appeared, it unleashed the legion strengthening technique, dramatically boosting the power of the skeletal army. Attack speed, power, casting speed, and defenses all surged by 30%, and the skeletal warriors, now glowing a fierce red, felt a newfound strength coursing through their ethereal bodies. With the general leading the charge, Lin turned to face the serpent directly. Bring it on, he muttered, gripping his weapon tightly, ready for the fight of his life. The battle was just beginning, and Lin had no intention of backing down. As the serpent's glowing eyes locked onto Lin, the air between them crackled with energy, signaling the start of an epic showdown. And with that, the scene draws to a close. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the chapter, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future content thanks for your support.